Hello friends, welcome to our uh, YouTube channel Linux Tuition. In this Tuition uh, channel you could find lots of videos about Linux, uh, Linux server management, Linux uh, system administration, Docker, Kubernetes, uh, security, pen testing and lots of stuff. Even you can find some videos about the Microsoft and Microsoft DevOps as well and there are lots of uh, content available here so I would recommend to go to this channel and subscribe our channel and share this channel as you uh, as much as you can so uh, the purpose of uh, making this video uh, that's uh, in this video we're gonna uh, see about uh, how we can create how we can install uh, Jenkins uh, in our Linux system uh, we currently going to use the CentOS 7 uh, this is the operating system we are using to install the Jenkins uh, you can use your own distro like uh, Ubuntu uh, Mac OS and any kind of uh, flavor that you uh, where you would like to run the Jenkins. Jenkins requires uh, actually the Java package, Java 1.8, the current version requires, and then uh, it also requires to install. Uh, Jenkins actually comes with a bar and it uh, uses the Tomcats to publish its uh, application. So there are several ways you can install Jenkins through. Uh, even you can download the var and you can embed uh, install that var to your Tomcat server. But in this video, we are not going to use that traditional method. Uh, in Linux, uh, it provides you a uh, capability to install Jenkins through Yum. So we're gonna follow very small steps. Uh, we're gonna uh, we first we're gonna install the Java 1.8. Uh, so uh, uh, this will uh, this command will install the Java 1.8 into your system. I already have installed in my uh, machine. Uh, so uh, it says nothing to do uh, the next thing we need to install the Jenkins uh, repo uh, this repo uh, can be available uh, anytime or you can uh, copy uh, or for your local uh, use and uh, use uh, as well so in this uh, we can we just going to install uh, Jenkins repo next thing we need to install the gpg keys uh, this is uh, to required by yum to verify the packages valid uh, package validation so this is uh, we're going to add it to our repo last step we're going to install the jenkins uh, and we, we, we will see how we can install it so the very uh, easy step you can install yum install uh, jenkins so I already had it down, uh, cached this package, Jenkins package. It, it has a 63 MB of package. So uh, this is installed very rapidly. Uh, next thing we need to install the uh, is start the Jenkins ser service because uh, we are using the CentOS 7. There, so we will have the CentOS system CTL if you are using the old Linux. So you could find it through a service package uh, so, uh, uh, because we are following the se uh, latest CentOS version. So we're going to uh, follow the latest methods as well so this will start the Jenkins uh, if we see if you want to, to see the status then we can we can see uh, is status command so we can see our uh, Jenkins servers up and running last thing uh, we need to add a firewall rule uh, so we can uh, we can access our Jenkins server uh, from outside the world so uh, now we need to add a firewall uh, rule IP tables is space minus I input chain uh, and then uh, we need to specify the protocol version uh, protocol type which is TCP where then we need to specify the destination port our Jenkins servers runs on the uh, port 8080 uh, and then we need to specify the action uh, in, in action tab we can say uh, just accept so uh, with the uh, with the with the machine IP I can access my Jenkins server uh, my machine IP is 182.168.0.108 so I'm gonna I'm gonna access my uh, Jenkins server uh, from UI. So uh, you can see that uh, Jenkins is start getting ready uh, when it, it's configured its environment. Uh, we will see uh, then uh, initial login page, and then we will see how we can configure the Jenkins uh, credentials and other stuff. Normally, it takes around uh, one to one and a half minute to configure, uh, but this really depends on your uh, machine's configuration. I have very low level co machine configuration VM. Uh, it is just on uh, one GB of RAM and very, very uh, low level configuration for proc, uh, CPU info, and crap, space minus I processor.
So I have only one core processor, so that's why it's taking more time to get up. Uh, if you have a, a ideal situation where you have four, at least four gig of RAM and uh, two cores of CPU, then it will boots up uh, better than this. So it's still starting. Uh, if we see PSA UX, uh, pipes and crap, so we can see Jenkins process as well. So we can see that our Jenkins is being, uh, running uh, with the, uh, uh, if we want to uh, see the logs of Jenkins, so we can we can access this particular log file as well. So we can see uh, uh, this is the location from uh, we can uh, this is our temporary password and this may also can be uh, found over here uh, because uh, right now Jenkins is initializing itself. So it might take a small time or more. As you can see, I have very little amount of memory available. So that is why it's taking more time. So Jenkins is being initialized. You can see that this is the first initial screen. Uh, so yeah, the, the initial password can be found over here as well as from the uh, from the log file as well. If we uh, cat this particular file, then we can see uh, the credential uh, that has, that can be used to uh, access the Jenkins UI for the first time. This uh, after this, uh, this will be removed, and you need to set up your credentials. This is the initial screen of setting up your Jenkins server. Uh, as of now, uh, it's uh, seeing me to install the plugins uh, which you need to set up your uh, build pipelines and uh, CI CD. Uh, like for now, I said, okay, install uh, through very, uh, the default. So uh, here it will saying that uh, this, these are the required dependencies and it will uh, getting it up. So it start downloading the uh, required packages. Uh, we can see the logs as well. Uh, due to the COVID-19, uh, I'm still having some internet issue. Uh, so uh, it might take a bit longer than our expectations. In normal scenario where the internet and the machine is uh, fine, then you will see it will be very rapid. It's just uh, creating the structure of uh, Jenkins. Uh, you can see if initially it's downloading some uh, some packages from the repository, and it's setting up the stuff. Uh, folder structure being set up, and now uh, it has started the anti uh, anti semi markup formatter. Uh, and uh, this is OWOS. Uh, it has been done uh, one by one. All these things uh, will be downloaded and installed. And we can see uh, the progress from the logs as well. Now it's downloading the security scripts. 